and I hope you're all okay today and if you're not feeling well I hope you feel better very soon. I've got my new little boy Elliot with me today and I was going to do a uh, theme Thursday with him yesterday. I got a couple of outfit outs ready but I just did not have the time yesterday and I'll, I'll talk to you about that. I'll just put those to one side. Um, I've got a bit of a cold so I'm a bit nasally today so um, I hope you can hear me all right and understand me. Now this little man or sweet cheeks as his auntie Shara calls him got some happy mail from her. This is our stork fairy and she is just so so generous and so kind so say Mwah. big kisses Auntie Shara, and a big kiss from me. I'm sure we're going to love it. He's got this big rabbit with him. I do you know, I, I am just so taken with him. I really am. He's absolutely gorgeous. Right, um, it's from Children's Salon. And I'm going to open that up. I've got my little Amber here with me again. He's sitting on the floor. So what's Auntie Shara sent you? We always love getting from Children's Salon. It's an amazing brand. Ooh. It's a Tuto Bigelow. I like these, they're very nice. I'll just pop this down on the floor. That's all right, Amber. That's all right, puppy. So let's have a look. What she sent you, little sweet cheeks. I can't believe she wrote that. For Sweet Cheeks Elliot in the care of Suzanne. <laughs> Can you imagine? So what's in here? <laughs> oh, excuse me. As you can hear, I've got a bit of a cough as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this. It's a one piece. And it's got a red top. And it's got a lovely little doggy who's got a red and grey scarf. And it's a white dog with grey ears. And he's jumping up for a grey ball. And it says Tuto Piccolo on it. And the bottom of it is grey. And it's got feet in it. And it's got all different doggies with reindeer ears and all sorts of things so it's obviously a, like a christmas can be used for christmas which is great great and it's got the same gray material around the end of the sleeves and around the neck isn't that gorgeous what size is it let me have a little look see if i can see zero months but I mean, he's a big boy, so this is going to fit him lovely. Thank you so much. Mwah! I don't know how you find these gorgeous outfits. That is lovely. He's got some little white socks on, so we can put them underneath. Are you going to come and say hello to everybody, Amber? Come on. <laughs> Here she is. Here's my Amber. She went to the groomers yesterday, so she's looking really pretty you're gonna sit sit nicely there's a good girl let's sit her, sit her nicely so you can see her there she is it's my little amber she's looking <laughs> give me a kiss thank you very much uh yeah she's looking really gorgeous she really is what's that is that a puppy is that a baby there she looks all shiny and beautiful she smells Oh, absolutely gorgeous. No, you can't have that. No. You're going to say hello to everybody. Say, hello, everybody. <laughs> don't lick my nose. You don't want my cold. So there she is. I'll put her back on the floor. You stay on the floor for mummy. There's a good girl. Right, and we get this little man changed because I was going to change him. and have a little chat to you thank you all for all your lovely comments on my videos so far this week i haven't got round to looking at them all yet i've 
been really, really busy taking care of my husband and doing other things, you know, that I've had to do. So, yeah. Oh, this is so cute. Right, come on, young man. Come on, young man. Oh, he is... Oh, he's so gorgeous. Look at those little cheeks. So cute. Just take your hat off. He is a Darina sculpt by Irena Kaplinska. And he was reborn by um, Petit Baban. Oh. What do you want, puppy? What do you want, puppy? You stay there, there's a good girl. Just take his little jacket off. I haven't got any jackets for my babies, so that's really nice, having a jacket. So, yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, by Precious Baban. Let's put you down because you're up to look at my gorgeous girl there. And he really is a big, chunky baby. I wanted um, a big, chunky baby. I've been um, looking for one for a while. And because um, I seem to have a lot of babies the same size. So I've actually got my, sorry about that, I was interrupted by a phone call from the doctor. So uh, I had to take it really. Let's move this boy a bit closer for you. I can't remember what I was saying now. Um, so I was saying, yeah, I, I wanted a chunkier baby because I suddenly realised when I got my Elena's kit for my birthday that I have a lot of babies the same size and I wanted one that was chunkier, you know, a bigger baby. I have actually got my Elena kit on eBay and I will put a little link up for you. I've put her on as new because I only got her for my birthday, as you know, in September. But I've put her on at a reasonable price, um, less than I paid for her, obviously. So, yeah, have a look at her if you're interested. She's an absolutely beautiful baby, she really is. But I really wanted to have something a bit different, you know, a bit chunkier. And this little man is a bit chunkier. Let's see you seeing him. Let's get you down a bit. Yeah, he, he is um, a chunkier boy. You know, he's just what I wanted, really. So I'm really pleased with him. So, yeah, if you're interested in my Elena kit, pop across and have a look at the auction. I've got her on as a buy it now, if you're interested. And I'm open to offers on her. She's a gorgeous little ginger girl. So, yeah. Yeah, we took Amber to the groomer yesterday. And I spent, while we were waiting for her to be ready, uh, we spent an hour and a half walking around Sainsbury's doing a bit of shopping. So, I've got a sore back today because I don't do a lot of walking. And whenever I do... It plays my back up because I tend to walk from my back because I can't bend my knees, if that makes sense. So, yeah. But, you know, the groomer always does a wonderful job on her. And she enjoys going. And her groomer, who's called Natasha, she absolutely loves her and uh, always says what a brilliant dog she is, you know, and how well behaved she is. So that's lovely, isn't it? And what else do I have to tell you? Oh yeah, we went to see The Great Escaper with Michael Caine. And that was such a sweet story. It's based on a true one. And I mean, Michael Caine is 90 now. And he's starring with Glenda Jackson, who sadly passed away after they filmed it. Um, uh, but she is very, very good in it. Oh, this fits perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Let's turn you over, baby boy. There we go. Just turn him over. You can see his lovely painted hair. 
But yeah, um, really sweet film. It's only 96 minutes. Uh, it's very, very good though. All about a 90 year old man who wants to go to the celebrations or the memorial, should I say, of the 70th anniversary of D-Day. And he wants to go to France and he decides to just go because he can't get any tickets. Uh, so he goes on his own with his walking frame and it's really really a you know sweet sad little film so we really enjoyed it and they had American birthday cake ice cream so of course I had a big dollop of that because I love it oh this this fits him absolutely perfect and the red goes lovely with the colour of his cheeks. I'm sure that's what, <laughs> why you picked it, Shara. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that on him. So cute. He's such a sweetie. He really is. I've really, you know, I don't like painted hair babies that much, but Precious Bad Ban always does a wonderful job with her babies she really does and uh, I absolutely love this little boy and I think the name Elliot suits him brilliantly don't you <laughs> so yeah that's what I've been up to um and uh as always I'll be very pleased to read your comments and um I'm going to go and have a sit down and uh, make a drink first have a sit down and um, see what my husband's up to. But if you're interested in my Elena's kit, as I say, I've listed her as new because I've only recently got her and I literally changed her once and wrapped her up. So she is new. Have a good rest of your day. And if I don't see you over the weekend, if this cold gets worse, have a good weekend. And prayers for all the UK for Scotland especially that's getting battered by this storm Babette. It's really bad here but it's so much worse in Scotland so prayers for all our lovely people up there. Love you ladies and gentlemen you're special.